It's a pretty cool balance. In my mind, I always thought, I'm like, okay, we're in Europe. Everything's so old and so historical. And these sites that you can go see are just like, have been around forever, you know? Like this crazy rich history that you can read about, but then enjoy these waves and this very young surf culture here. Portuguese surfers. We always had this passion for being in the water. We had our most wealthy moment in history when we were discovering the world. But surfing is a foreign thing. For me, as a big wave surfer, having Nazare, the potential for surfing here, it's amazing. Surfing has been around for a while. We all know that there are really good waves around. And here in Portugal, I think the surf scene is growing because there is a passion, there is this connection between the way we face life with surfing. Our coastline is very rich and we knew that we had really powerful waves in Portugal, but we had no way to show them and we had no credit, you know, as surfers. It wasn't like a very solid career in Europe, but I devoted myself 100% to surfing and to go on this journey, which was a mystery. That risk is just almost like fuel, and you need to feel it every now and then. Me and my brother have been coming here for the last like 20 years. It was just a land of recon. I mean, you constantly have to look and tack the surfs and the, and the sandbars around here. And you can get these surfs with no one out, no one around, and it's just the stars aligned. And that's the challenge, and that's what makes it fun, and that's what makes these waves unique and so sick. You know, Europe kind of put me on the map. A lot of the things that I've been fortunate enough to experience is because this continent and these countries have played a pivotal role in that. I get scared, but I wouldn't be able to approach these situations if I wasn't in love for big wave surfing. I have been working with Maya for so long and I admire her a lot because being a girl surrounded by machos that wants to surf the biggest waves around the globe, it's kind of gnarly, it's not easy at all. I always tell her, Maya, if you're not having fun, there is no good reason for us to be here, so let's have fun. I just love the feeling of being alive and the passion of surfing big waves and to give it back a little bit to the surf scene, to the community. Since I'm a, a Brazilian, I speak Portuguese, so they are both countries that love to surf. We come from places that we don't have much money, you know, so it's always good to have something extra challenging for you to build up this uh, connection with surfing as a professional. We are rising as a nation that loves surfing and believes in its potential and it, you know, I just feel very blessed to be able to surf and open the door for professional surfing in Portugal, so that makes me a very proud person and people believers nowadays, you know. If we say we have an amazing wave around here, we're going to be heard. There's a thriving industry here and kids that like aspire to be professional surfers and they could totally make it. And to see that seed to be planted and to grow, to watch these people like living off the ocean and provided for, definitely makes me the happiest.